Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to link to things. It's kind of the basic difference between print design and web design is, is the user has the ability to click around and look at the various things that they want to look at versus following a linear path. Web is very unlinear. So today, how to take the stuff that's on the web page and link it to other stuff. So I'm going to show you first how to link to a web page, um, but you can do that by highlighting the text that you want to make a link or clicking on an image that you want to make a link. Um, first off, let's take this first bit of text um, and make it a link to a web page. So link to Google Maps. I'm going to say Google Maps in this case. So maybe it's maps on how to get to a show about uh, a planetarium or, or something like that. So your first thing you do is you highlight the text that you want to make a link. And up here at the top is uh, where your buttons are. You're going to see a button that says link. And it's got a little chain link on it just in case you're not sure what kind of link it's going to be. <laughs> so click on link. And here you get a series of choices. Drafts in recent places, new page, browse to web page, file email address, file on my computer. It really doesn't matter which one of these you click. Any of them will do. But in this case, you want browse to web page. And the reason why I say it really doesn't matter is because you'll be presented with this dialog box here. This is insert link and the row of buttons here along the top. Might look a little different on your computer if you're using a PC. These will be big, big square buttons versus little rectangular buttons. But anyway, it's pretty much the same. So if I click on email instead, I can link this text that says link to Google Maps to an email address. Well, I don't want to do that. I do want to link it to a web page. So I'm going to click on browse and it's going to you can browse to a website. So if I've already copied and copy the URL, I can paste it here. Um, that's always nice to do that way you make sure you didn't make any typos. So I'm just going to type google.com. And over here we have a big uh, white box that says preview. You can click, instead of clicking OK at this point, you can say refresh preview. And that's going to give me a preview and give me feedback that I did indeed type the web address correctly and it's giving me the correct page. And it also filled in HTTP colon slash slash, which is what you need um, for a web address to actually work. And it assumed that's what you wanted and so it uh, filled that in correctly. Um, if this is not exactly the page that you wanted, but you know it's on the Google site, you can click Browse, and that's going to make this little mini browser that pops up, and there you can... Okay, I had a little interruption there. Okay, so what it does is it, it makes this little web browser in which you can then um, delve down deeper into the site and uh, link to what you li want to link to. And so I said it, I was linking to maps. So I can click on maps right here and this is going to give me Google Maps. And now my link will link directly to Google Maps. So I click OK. And um, OK again to initiate the proof. And uh, my computer is working a little slow at the moment. And so there we are. So it's linking to Google Maps. Um, you might be tempted to just type in HTTP colon slash slash and say google.com or you know whatever it is and and if that would work if you were in Microsoft Word when you hit enter or return it would make this link live it doesn't do that here in the web in this web editing program the reason being is because sometimes you might not want that a link so you literally have to tell this to be a link so even if you typed out the web address like this you would still need to go up to the link and, and make that an active link okay so I'm going to delete that so that's a link to a website now say if um, I was doing an event email for more inf information I can make that a link as well. Um, so I highlight, highlight this text that I want to be the link, and again I'll go up to the links button, and instead of browse to web page, email address. Again, it brings up to that same window, and I have email address uh, highlighted in blue here. And this text, email for more information, is what is going to be the link, and you have to type in, again, a fully qualified email address. So in this case, I'll type myself at uh, losmedanos.com 
Los Medanos, it has to be right. It's not going to do that for you. So I'm going to make this lowercase e. So it has to have the at symbol, has to have the domain, and the dot three letters. And um, at that point, click OK. And so that text is going to be, when I click on that, it's going to launch my email program. Now, when you're in Adobe Contribute, you can't really test that until you actually launch it into the web browser, and, and then you know for sure. Now, I made this text a link, but I can also make this page a link. So I'm going to, I'm not page, sorry, I can make this image a link. So say I wanted this link of the uh, star projector to actually go to the planetarium website. So I'm going to go up again here to link and browse to web page. And I don't know the address, but I want to put in www.losmedanos.edu, can't spell my college. Click browse. It takes me to the website, and um, if I go to the R A to Z index, click on P for planetarium. Here's the planetarium shows. So I'm going to click on that, and it links me to the planetarium page. When I click OK, click OK again, gave me a preview that it's going to link to the planetarium page. So now, if I was in the web browser and I were to click on this image, it would take me to the planetarium web page. Now I have to kind of know that because there is nothing on this image that tells me that this is a clickable link. So if you're going to do this, do something that, you know, puts a little bit of text on this image or edit the image in some way so that it looks like a button that somebody clicks on. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, one last thing that you can make a link to, and that is a file. So I'm going to add another bullet in here. This is just a pretend page. Um, application for, I don't know, so it's an application. Say you had an application for this event, or maybe it's a flyer. Let's say download flyer. That's something that happens a lot. Mm, there's a spell check on this. <laughs> so, so I'm going to highlight this text right here, and then if I go to link in, and instead, this time I'm going to choose file on my computer. And it brings up that same box again, and I can click Browse, and then I can browse to find the file that I want to link to. So let's go to, um, let's say, let's go to my desktop, and here's a blank PDF. Don't know why I have a blank PDF, but there it is. So I click Choose. Click OK. And so say that file was actually a document. Um, it would upload that. And people ask me sometimes, well, okay, so is the web server then linking to my computer and do I have to have my computer up all the time? No, you don't. Um, this message will remind you that, that if you want to make changes to this document later, you have to make changes to your local copy and then re-upload it. So I'm going to click OK. And so when I publish this page, it's going to publish not only this page that you see here, but the, fi but the, the file that it's linked to. Now, I don't want to publish this page. But I do want to go to File and Preview in Browser. In this case, the only browser I have is Safari. And this is going to place this copy up onto the internet. It's only a temporary copy. I know that because of the UR URL here. You can see it says TMP. And this is a temporary copy. It's not the live copy. And so here are the links. So now if I hover my mouse over the image, notice my cursor changes from a pointer to a hand. That is my indication that there is a link there. I kind of have to know that. So I click on that, and that takes me to the planetarium page. So that link worked. Um, this first link to Google Maps tells me the directions. Here we go. That worked. Email for more information. That's going to bring up my email program, and I can email, email myself a note. And then this one here, the last one, should download a blank PDF file that I actually had on my computer. And there we go. There you have it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a link to a new page, um, creating a new page from scratch.